In this problem, they're asking me how long the WAS pump has to run to reduce the mixed liquor suspended solids concentration. So the information that they give me is that I have a certain volume tank, 100,000 gallons, and it currently has a concentration of 4,000 milligrams per liter. Uh, so I am trying to reduce that uh, down to a concentration of 3,200 milligrams per liter. So assuming that there is no influent coming in while I'm pumping down and I'm not growing any more biomass, uh, then this just becomes a simple mass balance problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many pounds of mixed liquor I actually want to remove from the system and then I'm going to go backwards to figure out how many gallons I need to waste. So we're actually going to use the pounds formula twice. Okay, so the pounds formula, get my blue pen here, the pounds formula, try that again, pounds per day is milligrams per liter times million gallons per day or in this case million gallons of aeration basin times 8.34. So I'm going to figure out how many pounds of solids I actually want to remove from the tank. Okay, So this is going to be pounds per day of solids that I'm going to remove. So the milligrams per liter that I want to remove is actually going to be the difference here between the two concentrations. So I currently have 4,000 and I want 3,200 milligrams per liter. So the difference between those two is how many solids we're actually going to remove from the tank. Uh, it holds 100,000 gallons, but I know that for this formula to work, I have to have that in MGD, million gallons. So it's not going to be 100,000 that we're going to put in here. We're going to put in 0.1 million gallons. Uh, and then that is going to be multiplied by our conversion factor, 8.34 hello, a little bit of wild on the three there, 8.34 pounds per gallon. Okay, so Polly makes donuts after school, which is parentheses, powers, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. I have to do this little piece first. So my pounds per day becomes 800 milligrams per liter, because that's the difference between those two, times the volume of the tank, 0.1 million gallons uh, times that conversion factor of 8.34. Okay, so the pounds per day that I actually want to remove from the system, I'm just going to pop this into the calculator, 800 times 0.1 times 8.34. Okay, so it looks like I want to remove 667 0.2 pounds, and I'm going to leave the 0.2 in there even though it probably doesn't going to make any difference at all, and just punch it in twice, 800 times 0.1 times 8.34, okay, coming up with the same number, 667.2 pounds. Okay, so that's how many pounds I want to pull out of the system. Now they've given me another piece of information, which is my RAS concentration. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pounds formula, and we're just going to go backward now because what I'm interested in this time is not the milligrams per liter that I know and I know pounds. The piece that I don't know now is how many million gallons I actually need to waste uh, on this particular day. Okay, So that's the missing piece of the puzzle here, 8.34. So I'm going to start with my 667.2 pounds on this side. The milligrams per liter now becomes the RAS concentration, so that's 10,000 milligrams per liter. Uh, the total gallons I'm going to waste, I don't know, and then this is times 8.34. Uh, so any time you are working with a math problem, you should really try to simplify as much as you can first. Okay, so I have a little bit of multiplication that I can do here on the one side, so I'm going to go ahead and do that piece. So it's 10,000 times 8.34. Okay, so this ends up being 83,400, and that is multiplied by my million gallons. Okay, now from an algebraic standpoint, if I want to move something from one side of the equation to the other, it's very simple. I just have to follow two rules. Okay, 
number one is I can do anything, but I must do it to both sides. Okay, because if I only did it to one side, then that would unbalance the equation. So I have to do it to both sides. And rule number two is to do the opposite. Okay, so that's the other rule. Pretty simple. Uh, two rules to remember, and if you can remember those, it'll keep you out of trouble. Okay, so I want to move this 83,400 to the other side, so I'm going to divide this side by 80,000, Those are going to cancel, okay? Here it was multiplied, the opposite of multiply is divide, so that cancels that out. And we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. So this is going to leave me with million gallons. Okay, so 667.2 divided by my 83,400 uh, gives me 0 0.008, okay, which is not a very useful number, so I'm going to multiply by a million. And I find out that I need to waste a total of 8 thousand gallons. Okay, so I need to waste a total of 8,000 gallons. Now my pump has a capacity of 100 gallons per minute. So that 100 gallons per minute, uh, and I want to know how many minutes it needs to run. So all I have to do is take my 8,000 gallons, and I'm going to uh, multiply it by that conversion factor. It doesn't look like a conversion factor, but it is. Okay, so gallons is on top. So gallons under, goes underneath. Minutes is going to go up on top here. And for every one minute, that pump can actually pump 100 gallons. Okay, so you can see what happens here is that the units, gallons and gallons, are going to cancel. So I divide by 100, and it looks like my pump needs to run for 80 minutes. Okay, so over the course of the whole day, the pump's going to run for 80 minutes.